the, the, the worm is too light for this thick line, and this the thick line floats. So I was looking through this tackle box to see if there's anything that could help me, and I came across this. It's four pound nylon line. There's also some 12 pound in here, and small spoons, spinners, just a bunch of odds and ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new line on this rod. We finally got the new line on this rod. It looks fantastic. It is like this greenish color. I accidentally put the worm back on. So give me one more minute. Spoon on. It's like red polka dot. <laughs> but well let's see how so he this is gonna be the first cast with the new line on and the spinner or spoon type thing not the best um not the best. It doesn't cast that far, so I think I need to wait, but I'm not seeing any right off the I bat. I didn't find any weights. So I guess we're just going to have to deal with it and maybe just chuck it. seeming like I'm gonna catch anything with this little spinner or spoon type of thing but I mean I guess should I try this, this thing really kind of wonder if it even spins like, you can see yourself in it. You need, like, a mirror? I don't know who needs a mirror while fishing. But I'm going to try the rod that I brought. It has a Silver Lake spinner on it. So, I got my rod. And it has this little spinner on it. I think the fish will get it. Maybe not, but this is my Shakespeare rod. And this is going to be fun. Well, let's see if we can't get one. So this is a good sized trout. So we're gonna put her back in the water. That's a good trout. So, let's see if we can't get any more of those. So, I fished here for a few more minutes, and the spinner, the, the water's just too fast, so the spinner just, like, kind of floats up to the top. And the weather's not looking too nice, so I think I'm going to head back, and I'll see you back.